hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is jenny and you are in turkey headquarter before i start this video i just want to ask how are you doing i hope you are doing okay and i hope you are enjoying your weekend so today's video is about only your fifi again and today is about him and one of his beautiful wife Olori Tomito Be. Um, we hardly hear news about Oto Olori Tomito Be, even if um, there is occasions going um, on in the palace. It's not every time she's always at the palace because she's always traveling around um, because of her NGO Hopes Alive Life Initiative which she set up with Uni of Ife even before they got married. So they welcome France ambassador to Nigeria. These people right here came with good news for not only for Ife people and also is also um in a, a as in is also a way to promote Yoruba culture in a whole. They came to partner with um Uni of Ife, you know, his wife is already um, in charge of the Hopes Alive initiative, so you know what that means. A lot of Fijorobas, especially people from Ile Ife, will benefit from this, their partnership with these special visitors. Before we dive into the Manchester, according to Olori Tomitope, she took to you know her page to write this thing that i'm going to read now it's not too much it's just two paragraphs she said we were honored to host ambassador blatman as she delivered a powerful godwill message emphasizing france's desire to collaborate with nigeria in developing and promoting a strong relationship between our two great nations as we embark on this journey of partnership we look forward to fostering cultural exchange, economic growth, and mutual understanding. Together, we can create a brighter future, filled with shared opportunities, boundless possibilities, and keeping hopes alive. Wow, I love this statement. Remember, um, her initiative is called um, Hopes Alive Initiative. And this her last paragraph. She said, um, filled with filled together we can create a brighter future filled with shared opportunities boundless possibilities and keeping hopes alive then the last but not the least she said was let's celebrate the bonds that connect us and embarrass the beauty of diversity as we build bridges of friendship that span across borders this is so beautiful and when we actually posted this a lot of people were saying that wow you know what you're doing and this brought me to what i was about to say before only of fifi um like i think before he decided to marry like five to six women he has already placed them on which occasion to go with him like check it out each and every occasion that he goes with any of his wife, you will notice that, yeah, this occasion suits this person very, very well. He knows the ones that are, are spoken, the ones that can stand in the public and speak um, brilliantly. He knows the ones that, um, that are good for each occasion, you know. And before he got married to... Olori Tomitope, they already set up this Hopes Alive initiative to tell you that they, they all planned what their future is going to be. And trust me, Olori Tomitope is doing so well. Just that I think um, the person that is handling her social media is not um, doing so good. Maybe like not doing like 60% so good. Yeah. She's doing so well. She has traveled a lot of countries, you know, especially African countries. But she's not trending due to, um, she's not that kind of um, person that is always on social media. She hardly posts her personal pictures on social media, apart from where she went to 
you know, went to work for her Hopes Alive Life initiative or where she went to give people, um, help people or do one program concerning her Hopes Alive Life initiative stuff. But in all this, she is doing so well. Like I said in my previous video, that was, I think that was last year. Yeah, she has helped a lot of people set up um, small businesses. Like there is some, there is this ad adage that said, um, when you give a child a fish, you feed the child for a day. But when you teach the child how to fish, you feed the child forever. You know, a lot of people might be saying the business is too small. Like there are some people where they are, what they need is just small businesses that will, like those people that is in the rural area, you know, they don't pay house rent. Some of them don't even pay water or light bills. The only thing they need is what they will eat, the clo clothing, eating, and other essential things. So when you open this kind of small businesses for them, it's going to help them. Like, even some of them, you use as low as 80000 to open that business for them. And you see them getting a lot of profit some would de some be dealing with fruit some be dealing with like small provision like you know all those turnover it gives them joy and this is what only of your face wife olori tomato has been doing you, you might see a man in the village you know all those rural areas not doing anything but when you open this kind of thing some of them are age women they can't even farm again they can't do a lot of things but when you open those small businesses for them they can sit down do their businesses and take care of themselves some of them don't even have husband again some don't have wives again some their children are not doing well but when you open those businesses it will help them and um, take care of themselves while their children hustle in the city to see if they will get a better life you know, before they come back to their villages. All these things is what Olori Tomato Bear has been doing. I honestly um, commend her. Even though um, a lot of fun that she's using for this, she, you know, go for donation for it, and which is good. Like, it's not those people that will, you donate money and you will not see what you're donating money for. And then... Um, People, um, even the other time in Ilefe, she opened, I think, uh, that was, I think it's borehole, you know, in a marketplace. Imagine opening a borehole in a marketplace. A lot of people buy water every day. You know, mark, imagine opening a free borehole. Some people that do businesses in the market, they need water. Some of the businesses that they do in the market, they need water. So if she opens that kind of thing, you know what, you know, is very profitable to that community. And I like the fact that um, she's not only doing all her, you know, all her charity works in Yoruba land alone. She's even doing it outside the country. The other time she met um, with the ghetto kids or something, the ones I think they are from... Is it Zambia or Uganda? I'm not sure. These two countries. She went there. She met with them, you know. And she's doing a lot. Even though she's not always on the internet praising herself. But I've seen like two or three blogs on Facebook praising her for what she's doing. You know, those bloggers are praising her. Even though a lot of people are not um talking about what she's doing. The person... The, those bloggers actually said that she's doing a lot, even though people are not noticing. But one thing about charity, the more you do it, God blesses you in other way which you, you are not even aware of. And I'm here to say thank you so much, Olori Tomito. May God continue to bless you, guide you, and provide for all the people that are doing this donation that you are using to help the poor masses, the age, you know, the orphans, a lot of them, she put them in school, paying their school fees. A lot of them are orphans, you know. God bless you. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. 
and subscribe if you have not and i will see you on my next video thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful new week bye